And then the guide sat down and talked to her about boundaries and how that was crossing, which is what you're illustrating, the crossing of boundaries. Mm -hmm. And that as her children have aged, because her children are now in their 30s, that she's still crossing boundaries because she's mom and she thinks that gives me the right to. Which makes a mess mm -hmm. because then you don't have 30-year-old adults. Mm -hmm. And chances are Millie's parents did the same to her, which is what happened in this first part of her session was her parents came in to say, we're sorry. You're doing this because you think this makes you a really good mom because we did this to you. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to be a good mom because you thought I was. When in fact, I'm standing in front of you saying, I wasn't, and I'm sorry. And this is what it did to you. It taught you a pattern. So we're going to fix the pattern. And so you, at first you can see and hear Millie's resistance to, oh, don't criticize my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom was a good mother. My mother did everything. My mother baked. My mother. And you can hear the defense of my mother. You must have this wrong, Karen. And so I have to work hard at the apology for her mother. Mm -hmm. Because Millie really doesn't want to hear the apology because in order to do that, she has to take her mother down off that pedestal. And her dead mother is saying, oh, for God's sakes, why is this so hard? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, because <laughs> you did it her whole life and you died before you acknowledged it. So it's going to require that I work really hard on your behalf to get Millie here, to be able to understand this. So I need a moment. And her mom's like, oh, Okay. So you can see, like, her mom just kind of like, if I want, if I could say she sits down for a minute, mm -hmm. because I have to explain this to Millie several times before she's willing to consider an apology, consider moving her mother off of this pedestal. Mm -hmm. So that she then, and I said to her, Millie, at some point, if you can't accept any of this, how are we ever going to move on to the fact that you've done it to your own children? And she went, well, shit. Hmm. Well, shit, Karen. And I said, yeah. I said, removing mom is actually going to have an effect on you and your children. Mom's passed over and has figured it out. She's rooting for you to figure this out. Can you get on board here so that we can get to the rest of this session? Or is this going to be your whole session? And she goes, oh, my God, I'm understanding what you're saying. I'm blocking. Mm -hmm. And she goes, and that's one of the forms of verbal abuse. I've heard your show. Millie, yes. And I'm, yeah. And I'm like, okay, good. Good, Millie. <laughs> you go get Patricia Evans' book and you look up blocking because it is exactly what you're doing. And your, your mom wants you to heal wants your children to heal, and you've got grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So she wants her great grandbabies to heal. And this is a domino. So she's wanting to get this domino going because she realizes it's her grandmother too and her grand. She realizes this goes back in ancestors, but she's willing to stand here today and say, it's okay. I represent all the ancestors that did this generationally. I'm just saying this to my daughter. So that was just lovely mm -hmm. for Millie to hear that she's breaking or has an ability. Opportunity. An opportunity. I just want to say three cherries. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ching, ding, ding, that she gets to say or, or help. I think, I think it's super funny that we just said three cherries <laughs> and you chose two different sounds to indicate three chairs. I did? You don't know you did? No. What did I just do? Ching, ding, ding. <laughs> you can tell who's not a gambler. Yeah. Moi. <laughs> Go on. Don't do well in casinos. <laughs> okay. So Millie makes this moment. She has this, okay, I understand how important this is for all my ancestors on the other side. I'm doing this for mom. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then she stands there and she goes, and Karen, I'm going to do it for me. And I'm going to do it for my kids. And I'm, and I'm going to do it for my grandbabies because I'm the grandma now. She says, so they're, I'm the one they're putting on the pedestal because I'm doing this. She goes, oh my God, I'm my mother. <laughs> okay, Millie, let's take a breath. <laughs> it's super funny. It's, it's so That's awesome. funny slash kind yeah. because grandma's laughing. Her mom's laughing. Mm-hmm. I'm having some good chuckles. Millie's having good, some good chuckles. 